Tom Slater is a grape grower and supplies many Northern California wineries. He says the government shutdown has now started to affect the wine industry. That report indicates the average prices, all the prices that are paid to the growers in the state of California, supply and demand. If, if this year it's indicating one varietal has way more tons than they anticipated, then the price for that varietal next year will go down. He's talking about a report called Grape Crush Report. He says it's seen like the Bible in the wine industry. It gives the entire industry an idea of pricing for the different types of grapes and gives growers an idea of what variety of grapes to plant that season. And ultimately, wineries rely on the report to know what to charge customers. And that pushes everything back further. And if you're trying to make marketing decisions, planning decisions, and you're into the season, it has the, the makings of being a real mess. Every year, the report is produced by the U.S. Department of Agriculture, or USDA, but because of the government shutdown, everything is on hold. He says new wine labels have also become an issue. Uh, there are lots of requests for new labels. There are requests and questions. It's a complicated issue to put information on that label. He says new labels need to be approved by the Alcohol and Tobacco Tax and Trade Bureau, and they're also shut down, which means the wine can't be sold and will have to stay on the shelf. He says overall, he's going to have to sell his grape, not knowing how much it's really worth if the report doesn't come out on time, which is March. So if it turns out I make a deal before, before the, all the information comes out, that, uh, that could be damaging uh, in my pocket. And not only his pocket, he says he expects the economic impact to be relatively low, but you may still see a price difference on your favorite wine next year. Mady Gomez, ABC 10 News.